In a special hearing held today, that is on Saturday, the Supreme Court of India suspended the Bombay High Court's order discharging former Delhi University professor G. N. Sai Baba and five other accused persons in an alleged Maoist links case. After a nearly two-hour-long hearing in a special sitting held today, a bench comprising Justices M. R. Shah and Bela M. Trivedi. passed the order while issuing notice on the appeal preferred by the state of maharashtra during the hearing today justice shah orally remarked that the high court had committed an error in not entering into the merits of the case while passing the order of acquittal he said during the hearing today and i quote here we are finding a fault with the high court for not entering the merits of the case and for finding a shortcut to decide that is on the basis of sanction Furthermore during the hearing today justice trivedi pointed out that as per section 386 of the crpc the appellate court can acquit only after reversing the findings of the trial court for context in this particular case the accused persons were discharged by the bombay high court on the basis of a lack of sanction under the unlawful activities prevention act that is the uapa without going into the merits of the case The Supreme Court bench today also observed that the offences involved in this case are very serious in nature, and that the accused persons were convicted after a detailed appreciation of evidence. The bench further orally remarked during the hearing today, and I quote again: "High Court has not considered the merits. High Court has discharged the accused only on the ground that sanction was invalid and some material which was placed before the appropriate authority and sanction was granted on the same day." Pertinently the Supreme Court bench also formulated the following questions of law and posed to the matter for further hearing after the vacation the questions of law framed by the bench are as follows number 1 whether considering section 465 of the CRPC after the accused is convicted on merits whether the appellate court is justified in discharging accused on the ground of irregular sanction number 2 in a case where the trial court has convicted the accused on merits whether the appellate court is justified in discharging the accused on the ground of want of sanction particularly when objection with respect to no sanction was not raised specifically during the trial number 3 what will be consequences of not raising the dispute with respect to sanction during the trial and thereafter permitting to trial court to proceed further despite the opportunities given to accused Sai Baba who is bound by wheelchair due to post polio paralysis had earlier filed an application seeking suspension of sentence on medical grounds he had mentioned that he is suffering from multiple ailments including kidney and spinal cord problems back in 2019 the high court had however rejected his application to suspend the sentence In this particular case the order of conviction and sentence was passed by the sessions court at Gadri Choli Maharashtra in March 2017 for offenses under various provisions of the anti terror law that is the unlawful activities prevention act or the UAPA and under section 120B of the Indian Penal Code that is the offense of criminal conspiracy for alleged association with revolutionary democratic front which is alleged to be an affiliate of outlaw Maoist organization the accused persons were arrested back in 2014 one of the accused persons pandu pora narote however died in august this year while in custody mahesh tirki hem keshwadatta mishra prashan rahi and vijay nan tirki are the other accused persons in this particular case Yesterday the Nagpur bench of the Bombay High Court had allowed their appeals against the conviction and the life sentence imposed under the UAPA. The Bombay High Court had held that the trial was null and void as valid sanction as required under section 45 of the UAPA had not been obtained. The High Court had also observed that procedural safeguards cannot be sacrificed at the altar of a perceived peril to national security. Pertinently the high court yesterday had also ordered for the immediate release of Sai Baba as well as other accused persons Mahesh Tirki Hem Keshwaratta Mishra Prashan Rahi and Vijay Nan Tirki as after the acquittal a special leave petition assailing the said order was mentioned before the bench comprising justices D Y Chandrachur and Hema Kohli by solicitor general of India Mr Tushar Mehta for an early listing 
he orally sought for a stay of the order of the bombay high court in the interim however reluctant to grant a stay of the operation of the order of acquittal the bench at the request of the solicitor general had however granted him liberty to file an application for an administrative decision of the cgi that is justice u u lalit to list the matter today subsequent to which the special saturday hearing of this particular case took place we have also covered in detail the bombay high court's acquittal order in another video the link to which has been given in the description box below please do check it out thank you amaratrika bhomik for live law keep watching live law for more such updates